as the owner of a server i spent majority of my rp life on b menu and QB core is something that is quite new to me I, my QB core server is only about six months or so old and this version of the server is a bigger and better one than the first one now the vrp 1.0 was a good place for me to get my feet wet without having so many different consequences however i realize a lot of new players don't necessarily have that and today i decided i'm gonna make a video on the 10 best tips and tricks that I can give you to be successful in any QB core server and especially in DVRP. Let's go, y'all. Before you guys look to jump into any server, there are a couple of things that you need to do. First thing you need to do, you need to read the rules and regulations of that community or that server, all other guidelines that they might offer. These are the things that the basic that you need to know whenever you're going into a server, you're going into RP and these are the things that you need to know so that you can at least be functional within that server you know you can you know how to for example get out your apartment access certain things in the server these are all guys that you need to to go ahead and figure out the next thing that um i would recommend is making sure that when you create your character you create a unique character do not use any normal gta pets those kinds of things are usually not um they're, they're usually not welcome in certain communities some communities don't like you to just have a random pet just like that you know this this stock normal gta pet like that that that's kind of lame bro like have some creativity and create and craft your character based on everything that you need for me my characters are all a reflection of myself either super super exaggerated for example my cop character is super strict he's super um he's super serious and he's very very professional and Additionally, my Sif character, he's a bit of a joker. He's a little bit of a rizzer. You know, he talks kind of crazy to people and he disrespects people. That's kind of a little bit like what I kind of do sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. But in real life, obviously, I don't necessarily do that to random people. I don't necessarily do that. It, this guy gives off boss, boss energy and I give off boss energy, just not in this aspect. These are all things that you need to know. This is my first tip. Read all the rules and regulations, customize your character, and make sure you follow all the guides. Another part of the things that are in these guys, a lot of people I realize don't necessarily know how to get out of their apartment. And this is how you get out of it. As if you would have read any of the guides for, you know, certain communities, you would know you could just go ahead and use your left alt and leave your apartment. Now, that moves us on to our second tip explore all your key binds your map and get a phone now one of the key binds the important key binds that you're gonna know or need to know in the server is i you press i it brings up this menu right here where you can go ahead and change up your hud make sure you know change up how you your your, your display make sure that you see everything so for example these are my settings i usually have my health status armor as everything on all the way up on um, I usually have my minimap always on, my 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 compass and everything on. Sometimes you guys' game might look a little bit more like this, where it's a little bit more bare bones, etc. I don't normally do that. I like to know where I am, especially when I'm a cop, and then we go from there. You can go in here and customize everything as you wish, and you could change up colors. You could do whatever, whatever you want to do. It's completely up to you guys. It's it's really up to you guys. So for example right here i can go ahead and uh, let's change how my voice chat is let's make it pink if you see down at the bottom left hand corner i just changed my voice chat um icon to make it more pink so that i can i can see it better whenever i'm talking etc and you could change it based off of all you're talking you know and um and and just just change it and customize it i like this hood for that reason so um let's go ahead and save these changes and we are we are we are good now the next thing um is explore your keybinds map and you should get a phone now that's the second tip right here now the first thing you're gonna want to do when you're if you leave your apartment you're gonna want to check your inventory my inventory i've already been playing the server a lot so i'm gonna have certain stuff in here but in your inventory you're gonna always have a driver's license id card and some money usually you start out with about five thousand dollars cash and uh you have nothing else for me i've been playing the server from the time the server has been started obviously because i own it and i have you know a couple other items and you guys get to see what those items are used for 
but you can go down and you can press escape and utilize your map your map is very 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 important because it has different icons that you're gonna need to know so that you can make yourself as successful in the server things like understanding which areas belong to which gang understanding where to find certain job menus where to find our jobs finding you know convenience stores mechanic shops uh gas stations housing all kinds of stuff your map is going to be very very important but we're going to come back to the map later the next thing that i'm going to look at is go ahead you got to press escape you got to make sure that your settings are good now a lot of people don't know about the setting but graphics in your graphics setting you can go down to um you can go down to texture quality and extended texture budget make sure your extended texture budget is all the way up this prevents you from losing textures in the server whenever you are going about your normal stuff i find a lot of people don't know about this setting and that's a really really important setting for you to have for me i have corn v and nve i'm pushing all the high quality textures so i don't need my texture quality to be on high so i keep it on normal and i never almost never lose any textures uh but i also have a 3080 ti so be aware of what your computer holds the next thing is going ahead and getting um a phone now you can go ahead and get a phone from from any phone store it is important for you guys to look at the map to see let's say a phone icon so for example you can see a phone icon right here so i'm gonna go ahead and leg it over to the phone yeah. store and i'll show you guys how to get a phone all right guys so we made it over to the mall this is the mall in the vrp our server link in the description down below if you want to join the vrp as well um we can go ahead we're gonna go upstairs usually you would start with about five thousand dollars cash in our server however um i don't have that much on me so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the bank and take the opportunity to show you guys how to withdraw your money how to get your stuff out of your account etc so let's go ahead and open our bank account and we can go ahead and take out let's say let's take out the 5k so we're gonna go ahead and withdraw that we now got 5k cash in our inventory now cash is something that you should always keep on you it's something that's going to be very 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 important so let's go on ahead now and um go ahead and uh, go to the phone store now let's go to the phone store here there are going to be a couple things that you need to buy the things that i i recommend you buy you get yourself a phone get yourself a fitbit and you get yourself a radio you don't have to buy all of these at the same time but the phone is the this number one i would say the fitbit is number two and the radio is number three whenever you, you you get these stuff you go ahead get yourself a phone you go ahead and set it up download important apps there are important apps that you will need to get to be able to do certain stuff in the server and keep things um in line birdie is one of them uh dark chat is one of them if you're gonna be a criminal and then insta pink those are all apps that you can do and how you download them you go up to the app store up here and then you go in here i recommend you get familiar with everything in the phone you get familiar with your your key binds and everything and the key binds is the next part that i think that you should that you should go ahead and look up when you go into you press escape you go into your settings and you go to your key binds go to 5m and i recommend you go through all of the entire list go through the entire list to figure out what to what 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 can you use now and what you can't so something such as let's say um something such as let's say some of these police stuff like the cat tablet etc you won't have access to these unless you're a cop so those are those are different things that you should understand that you need to do you can do your aux inventory you can go ahead and you know uh let's say change you on your phone these are all the key binds that you you'll know to make yourself at least you know knowledgeable of what does what so you don't you're not just pressing stuff and then random stuff pops up and it, it messes with your rp um and that's gonna be my that's gonna be encompass all of step number two my third tip tip for you is you go ahead and you find some jobs and you, you earn some money finding jobs and earning some money is gonna be something that's that's you're, you're gonna need because um 
the money is very very important you need to grow your money i don't know if you guys would have seen my bank account in the last tip i've been i've been at this for a while i've been working etc and that is why i said your map is important you can go on ahead here you could take two routes you could go ahead and be employed by yourself and go and find jobs for the servers or for for the server etc or you can go to player owned businesses which are, would, would be things like this right here you can see clock and bell um that's insurance right there uh you can see the builder job you can see uh the the postman job the garbage truck job you know all of these different jobs you do certain tasks and they'll pay you i'm going to show you guys um in one moment an example of such so we're right here at the garbage truck job you can go ahead and press start job usually this will give you a a prompt it will tell you you know it will give you a tutorial or read whatever it is that you need to do and you can usually go ahead and change into the job clothes for that specific job etc once you come up here you third eye the guy right here and you press start job you can then go ahead and start your job and the game will guide you through what you need for the job when you've completed the job the job will give you a payout and that's how much money you earn and you got to keep doing that until you earn enough money to then go ahead and get yourself the next tip the next tip is you got to go and get yourself some transportation so that you can you know move around the city a little bit better now i'm gonna explain how to get cars etc now in our server specifically but it might be different for other servers in our server each dealership that we have we only have two each dealership is player owned so sometimes you either may have to wait they might have cars in stock uh let's go ahead and see if pm have any cars in stock right now so they have this car in stock but what you can do you can come up here and x out of this and then you could look at imports if you want a, a normal car uh you can then see here that they they have a few cars in stock a lot of the cars are out of stock but you can come in here you can see you can see which cars are in stock which cars are are able to be to be had and let's say we were to purchase this i could go ahead and you i can press purchase i can purchase this vehicle for a society if i was let's say a business owner or a government official etc i can have it as society stuff or i can go ahead and you can press um you can finance it over 12 months or 12 payments i recommend financing if you're a new player it gives you a chance to be able to only pay a set amount um and then you pay you know over time uh, i don't remember i think it's every yeah it's every 12 hours so you pay a certain amount every 12 hours so let's go and look at maybe a car right now that is a little bit cheaper let's say it is subaru wrx sdi hatchback you go ahead and you press purchase you only paid about two thousand dollars when you first start and then from there it's a thousand eight hundred every 12 every 12 hours and that's something that gives you enough time to go ahead and regain that money that you would have spent um and this is probably something that you could do after you've done a few jobs etc now there are going to be some cars in here that are you know a lot cheaper for you to be able to purchase so for example i'll give you an example of one i can see uh you have this 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 atv this banshee um i know there's another quad here uh there's this quad right here there's a camry for six thousand so if you if this was was available you could go ahead and you can purchase that um on on let's say on credit and then be able to drive around a car um for a little bit of time i would shoot low and shoot for something like this so that you don't necessarily have to um to pay a, a ton of money off the off the jump since you've already you know you've already new to the server and this is dealerships are usually marked by this nice green icon right here so in our server there's one here and there's one up here you can go ahead and you can check those out and see what you which one which other cars you want to get and this is the way that you can get some transportation if you don't want to spend money and get your own car and you want to go a little bit illegal route you can go ahead and just steal a car from somebody bro like anybody who's driving go ahead and take their car however i will rec i will tell you you might get don't get caught by the cops bro don't get caught with the cops because you won't catch a charge and that's a that's a felony charge right there for gta so you catch a charge other ways that you can go ahead and get to get a car you can go ahead and go over to the rental service over here uh let's go ahead and take a trip over to the rental guys over here and i can show you guys a little bit of how to rent a car um this is only 
the, the, the rental car is only going to be possible for a set amount of time however it takes money from you uh every let's say 30 minutes or so i'm not sure how much it is i've never had to rent a car but because when i first when i first loaded up the server i used my 5000 i grabbed the cheapest car in the dealership and i financed it until i got some jobs together and everything so let's go on ahead and get some transportation here and let's see let's see what kind of cars do they have rented so they have this stuff renting it's uh 200 dollars per minute that's kind of crazy so there's a there's a bike you can get a bms bike if you want ten dollars per minute and you could go about with that but that's how it is so let me know what you guys think and um get yourself some transportation the next tip that i have for you guys is to network with people networking is a very 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 viable tool for you to use whenever you're in a server to be able to find certain stuff out find out information you know, people might know stuff about the server that you might not know and uh it's very gonna it's gonna be very very important for you to network that's what i had that's why i had you guys go to get your phone you go ahead and you talk to people you um you talk to people you get people to be your friends etc you got to be very careful though because some people will rob you but make sure you get, go ahead and get your friends up and everything so for for i'll show you how to show your contact you can go ahead and you can press share contact and send it to a person who you might you know be familiar with etc another thing is that's the cop right there another thing is is to go ahead and go on birdie and see what any people you know if there's any people doing stuff um see what who's the big players on the server etc and network and that's gonna be the next that's gonna be the next tip that i have for you guys you guys gotta figure out who are the big players in the server the big players are the in the server are the people who usually have the most money they're the people who you who own businesses who employ people find out what you can do for that person and that person will more than likely pay you for example for me for my mechanic shop i don't like sitting down grinding for materials so i would go ahead and offer somebody 10 20 30k to go and get me a shit ton of materials and that usually is a better payout than any job that you can have on the server so when you go ahead and you grind the materials you use your car use your time to be valuable to that person then they can bring you in and let you in on a few secrets for example they might be able to sell you a little bit of drugs you can make some some quick money they might be able to get you a gun you know these are all different things that you can do make sure you get close to the major players on the server figure out who certain things are and one major way to do that is figure out the gangs figure out who's in charge of which gang figure out who's you know who's there who's that guy in the server and it usually is a bunch of other people that you might never see so don't be afraid to go up to the to the shops or you know to the the businesses the dealership the mechanic shops and figure out you know who's the owner talk to the owner a little bit get yourself a job find out what what they need and you go and do that and they'll usually pay you a good amount of money to save them some time the next kind of thing that i recommend is finding out where all the food spots are usually um you can find food from normal convenience stores or you can go to player owned businesses such as clucking about up and out of my burger shop and even maybe some of the saloons like yellow jack and blackwood but like what we have in the server you can usually you know find these these things in there and you can go ahead and grab yourself some food so for here we're gonna go ahead and we could grab some food here so we got some money so let's go ahead and grab let's say 10 waters and uh 10 burgers it's very important for you guys to keep uh an eye on your food and water um it's usually down the bottom right i mean bottom left this is why when we start at the beginning of the video i had you guys check the i menu you can get you guys can go ahead and make sure those things are always on so you can always see it and that's also where the fitbit is important the fitbit is a tool that allows you to know whenever your your food and water has gone down a certain level but i will say the food from the convenience stores aren't as effective as the food from from player owned businesses the food from player owned businesses have their own effects and their and their own like values that you're gonna need to know for you know you know for yourself so again ask around talk to people try them out for yourselves and see what values you get from getting food from player own business and go ahead and get those kinds of stuff the next step for um for anything is to get yourself 
uh, some protection. Get yourself something that you I'm can just gonna come in the as case hard as I can. To rob you or try you. You know how people go in RP's communities. A lot of people are gonna be on demon time. They're gonna try to rob you. They're gonna try to take your shit. So you might you might need to go ahead and protect yourself. Now there's two ways you can do. In here, the only legal gun right now is this SNS pistol. It's about three thousand dollars or so, and you need to buy the ammo specifically. Now that is that is the gun but you could also have a bat uh a knife etc to, to kind of protect yourself to be able to get yourself a gun license you got to go down to the police station any of the police stations in the server and um wait what is this i've never seen this oh i could collect money lit Oh, it's within my area. That makes sense. That makes sense. Ah, ha, ha. Now I know how to do that. That's that's what's important about 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 um. That's what's important about figuring out what how certain things are in the state. But anyways, um, get yourself some protection. The way that you go ahead and you get yourself some some uh some other stuff is finding out where the police stations are are at we got a station down here this is state station la mesa and then we got a, a a police headquarters over here you can go down there you can do slash 911 or 911p to get an officer down there and grant you your weapons license you won't be able to get a weapons license if you already have a felony so that's why i told you guys later on i mean earlier if you go ahead and steal a car you get caught by the cops that's like straight felony you won't be able to get another car bro like you, your ghost cut bro so you go ahead you go down to the station they take your prints they take your photo and everything and you can then they'll grant your weapons license and you can go ahead and come back to the ammunition and get yourself a weapon or you could go the illegal route find a gun plug by a by an illegal gun firm but that also takes its risk you could get caught by the cops with it and catch another felony for having an illegal weapon so it's really up to you what you want to do next thing guys is every server has its hidden things hidden hidden you know areas and everything that you can go ahead and use to your advantage to make some money there's money washes there's 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 um the black market there's you know lester there's different different places different people that you can go ahead to and it'll it, you'll be able to then go ahead and make yourself useful to people some people might need to wash their money they'll come to you and you can go ahead and use that to your advantage they can pay your fee to wash all their money you wash their money win-win scenario so go ahead and explore the map go all the way around you know going to hidden alleyways or inside buildings and everything to try to find the hidden parts of the map that uh you won't you don't you won't normally have your stuff the last step that i have for you guys is to value your life you you really 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 need to value your life because that's rp like you wouldn't you wouldn't mouth off to somebody who's robbing you you would give them the items that they asked for you would you would put your hands up you comply with what they say you would you would go ahead and if you want to end up with a mansion such as this one in the city it's it's important to create that relation those relationships and and on, don't mouth off to every and single every person that's trying to rob you or try you or check you in the server yes some people might make you feel like less than a band or whatever you might want to want to say but at the end of the day mouthing off the people is not going to be very beneficial to you it's not going to be something that um that it, it promotes good rp because chances are a person is going to go ahead and light you up and, and kill you if you go ahead and mouth off and they're just trying to rob you take your stuff they might as well just shoot you if now you're being difficult you're putting your hands up putting them back down like that's that's real rp if you want to if you want to if if the what it, you could get your get back later you could always come back and get that person back just put your hands up keep them up let the person do what they got to do you keep the rp going but you need to fire your life fire your life is a big 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 important rule in our server and if you don't value your life then you're just gonna get absolutely f by the server you're either gonna get your money taken you're gonna get your cops on you all the time or you're gonna just constantly lose all your stuff so those are the 10 tips that i have for you guys for cubicore servers for any kind of rp service anything like that so if you guys enjoy hit that like button and subscribe turn on notifications so you know when we post link to the vrp down in the description down below there's gonna be more videos coming out soon for all memberships um to see access early first so 
I'll see you guys in a bit. Have a great day. Have a great week. Remember to go after all you guys goes and choose. You guys got this. And I'll see you guys uh, next uh, time. Uh, Peace. Uh, uh, I'm on the mezzanine. I go so hard just to fuck up my enemies. Don't need revisions. Success is the remedy. Ain't for the top.